Hello everyone, Josh from Journal Labs here, and in this video I'm going to be going over the Envelope 2 module in Alto. In some ways, the Envelope 2 is similar to the Envelope 1, but in many ways it is a very different beast. I'm going to go over the similarities first. We still have our key sequencer toggle, so you can decide whether or not you want to receive a signal from the key module or the sequencer module. We still have our multiply by velocity toggle, and as a reminder, this makes the envelope react to the velocity of the incoming signal. And we still have attack and release. Do not be confused thinking that this is decay here. This is actually delay. And what this does is allows you to uh, delay when the envelope will hit the patch, causing it to wait before it activates. We also have a repeat function here. And if you have this all the way down, then you will, it will not repeat. But as you turn it up, this black region appears here, and that is the part of the envelope that will repeat. Next, we have this hold toggle here. And the hold toggle is very similar to sustain, but it is actually only on or off. There is no gradient between it. And the last thing here is the multiply by envelope one toggle. And this, as you might expect, causes the envelope two to react to the shape of envelope one. And to kind of demonstrate how cool envelope two is, I personally think it's one of the most amazing aspects of Alto. I have uh, set up a little patch here and I've routed envelope two to the cutoff frequency of the filter and the shape of the wave. And so since I have this delay set to about one second, and the repeat uh, function on here, this will wait uh, a whole second to then start repeating in this pattern, the pattern inside of this black section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just press the key very quickly. So we'll pretty much only have the release of the first envelope to act upon. So about one second into this envelope, this envelope will kick in. <laughs> And I personally think that's a very cool patch. Uh, it's got some very interesting behavior. And I think it's an interesting demonstration of what Envelope 2 is capable of. If I turn up the input of the cutoff and the input of the wave shape, you'll be able to hear the effect a little more dramatically. <laughs> And that's just one example of how you can use the envelope too and also. Thanks so much for watching everyone.